Hi guys, Cheryl here from DIYXE, your resource for sublimation tutorials, print on demand, and digital designs. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the best way to print your sublimation designs after you download them. The best part is it's completely free and very easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with talking about the software. So in this tutorial, we are going to be using Inkscape, and there's a couple of different reasons why I use this software. The first is that it is actually made as a design software. So it's going to be used to having images, PNGs, like sublimation designs are, and it's used to working in that. I see a lot of people out there using Silhouette or Design Space, and these types of software really just aren't meant for images like this. They are meant for cut images, um, vectors, SVGs, which is different than what you're usually dealing with with sublimation. I know a lot of people specifically run into problems with those programs when they are trying to print bigger. So this is going to take care of all of that for you. The second is the software has a lot of capabilities, but it's completely free. So you got a ton of bang for your buck there. So what we're going to do is go to the Inkscape website and I will link that in the description below. And then you are going to download based on whatever program you have. I have Windows, so we'll go to that one. You're going to click on it and it's just gonna ask you to install it and you're just gonna go ahead and install. Once it's downloaded, you can just go ahead and click on that and then it'll give you some options. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and just install that Inkscape on your computer. Okay, so once you've got the software downloaded, you can go ahead and open that up. So there might be a couple initial settings here that you have to click on before you get to this screen. And they're just personal preferences about how you want the software to look. So you can pick whatever you like there. Um, once you do get to the screen, you're going to go over to the print and we're going to pick US letter because this is, of course, the size that we want to print. And that'll open up the software for you. So as you can see here, we've got the outline of our page or our print area of what's actually going to print. So for this tutorial here, I'll be doing both a tumbler and a mug. So why don't we start with the tumbler? So I'm going to go over to file here, import, and then I'm going to find the image that I want, which is this one right here and open that up. And as you can see, we've got our Tumblr image here. So first let's talk about sizing. So everybody's tumblers are gonna be just a little bit different. So you're gonna to wanna to measure yours, but generally speaking for a Tumblr design that's gonna go all the way around, I'm looking at about 9.3 inches and somewhere in the range of eight for the height. Um, so if you wanna see where your image is at for those, you can come right up here and it's gonna show you this. If yours isn't in inches, you just have to drop down here and change it to inches. So I've got 9.3 here and 7.2 here, which is totally fine because as you can see, there's gonna be a little space above this on the tumbler, which is how it should look anyways. Um, with the proportions here, one thing I do wanna point out is this little lock right here. So when you're changing the size of an image, you're gonna to wanna to have this lock on. And the reason why you wanna do that is because it's gonna keep the proportions of the design the same so that you don't distort the image. If we don't have that on, and we change the image, as you can see, it's just gonna distort it and kind of ruin our design. So we don't wanna do that. Let's click the lock on. We're just gonna change this to 9.3 so it wraps all the way around the tumbler. And this height proportion is within that eight, so that'll be totally fine. As you can see, once I've resized it, it's not gonna fit on this page anymore. So the first thing we wanna do is rotate it to the side, which is gonna be this button over on the top left which is now gonna have you within your page bounds. Then the next thing for sublimation, we always wanna to remember to mirror the design. So you're gonna come up here again and you're gonna flip the object. As you can see, now this design is mirrored. So that's gonna be printing how we want. Now this part is totally optional, but I like to do it. What you're gonna do is go into your object, come around and go align distribute, which is gonna open up this toolbar right here. And then, you're just gonna click center and center so it's right in the middle of the page. Once you've got it in the middle of the page, you're gonna go over to file, print, and this is gonna bring up your printer and you can print from there. Then next we are going to show you how to do the mug. So we're gonna delete that image out of there, go back file, import again, and this time I'm going to choose my mug. So for this here, we've got the mug. Again, you wanna come up and look at your size of your design here. 
So for mugs, what I generally like to do for a 15 ounce mug is about 8.25. And you can see that's gonna bring our height to 4.25, which is what I use for that. Um, I will post both of those dimensions into the description so you guys can use that for resizing your designs there. So we've got our mug on the page here. As you can see, it fits within our bounds there. Um, but there's lots of space down here. So if you want, you can add a second design to this. Um, you can typically fit two 15 ounce designs onto a page. So what you're gonna do, if you want a second one, is just use control copy, which is control C, and then paste it, control V, and it's gonna give you a second image. The other way you can do this is just to right click on the image, copy, and then paste it. So now that I've got both images on here, I just want to center them in the page. So I'm going to do control shift and select both of those images. Once I've got them both selected, again, I'm just going to come here. I'm going to center them on the page. And then we always want to remember that we have to mirror that image. So I'm going to come up here and mirror that image. From there, again, I'm going to go to print, file print, pick my printer that I want to print and hit print. And it's really just as simple as that. The same is going to apply for t-shirt designs, pretty much any design. You just have to know what size you want it to be, resize it, make sure you always mirror it, and then go ahead and print. I hope you guys found that tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks guys.